Using jetways and pushbacks enhances the simulation experience where your flights begin at the airport terminal gates. Jetways are telescoping passenger ramps between airport terminal buildings and aircraft. They are also called air bridge, air jetty, portal, sky bridge, and even finger. The official industry name is Passenger Boarding Bridge, or PBB. Their use in Microsoft Flight Simulator is simple and easy. They work in the basic and Steam versions. Make sure your advanced animations are engaged. On the top line menu, click on Options, then Settings, then Display. Click the box next to Advanced Animations. Then click OK to save your settings. Place your aircraft at a gate with a working jetway according to the white pavement markings. If your aircraft is on the wrong side of the jetway, the jetway will not work. Position your nose wheel on or near the yellow crossbars painted on the ramp. Otherwise, the jetway will not work. Engage your parking brake. Press Ctrl J on your keyboard to deploy the jetway. The jetway takes a minute or so to line up with your aircraft. This is consistent with real world operations. Use this time to request and receive IFR clearance from air traffic control. After the jetway is secured, use the Shift E keyboard command to open your main passenger door. Allow your passengers to M-plane or D-plane while you do your cockpit checklist. Close the main passenger door with Shift E when you are ready to move out. Retract the jetway with Control J. Use this period to request and receive clearance to taxi. Jetways work best with default Microsoft aircraft. They work with some add-on aircraft and not with others, depending on how the developers program their products. Microsoft Jetways engage and disengage whether the passenger door is open or closed. In the real world, passenger doors are usually opened and closed while jetways are secured in place. Jetways do not work with aircraft they were not intended for, such as general aviation. Here are some interesting trivia. The first jetway was implemented at Chicago O'Hare in 1958. Its official name was Air Dock. It was also dubbed Aero Gangplank. In the real world, a small truck called a tug hooks up to the nose wheel and pushes the aircraft backward from the gate. Microsoft simulates this aspect fairly realistically. The difference is that you will guide the pushback from your cockpit, whereas a tug driver and a ramp agent with outside views guide it in the real world. You will decide whether to go straight out or turn left or right and when to stop. Get taxi clearance from air traffic control. Ensure that all your doors are closed. The main passenger door closes with Shift E. Cargo doors are Shift E2. Be sure all ground equipment is clear of the aircraft. It will move away after the doors are closed. Be sure the jetway is fully retracted. Determine whether you need to push straight out, left, or right. Look at the yellow guidelines on the pavement. Use Progressive Taxi or the top-down view. Release your parking brake. Press Shift-P to initiate the pushback. Watch the tug move toward your aircraft. To push straight out, do nothing else. To push toward your left or right, press the 1 or 2 key immediately after Shift-P. It's easy to remember. 1 is toward the left, 2 is to the right. The turn begins after a few seconds. Look out your windows to see where you're going and to avoid crashing into anything, or use outside views such as spots or tower. 
Microsoft Flight Simulator will push the aircraft indefinitely and into buildings, ground vehicles, and other aircraft unless you stop it. Press Shift P to stop when you are in position to taxi forward, or before your aircraft can strike anything. When the tug has moved out of your way, proceed with taxiing. Pushback works where there is no jetway and no tug trucks. It also works on small aircraft. If you are parked in front of a building, for example, you will need to use pushback to prevent taxiing through the building. Pushback will proceed even when a jetway is attached, which is not realistic. It proceeds when doors are open and equipment is present. That should not happen either. Microsoft cockpits have no door open alarms. Therefore, you must examine doors and surroundings from outside using one of the outside views such as spot or tower. If your jetways or pushbacks don't work, recheck your animation setting. Be sure you are at a gate with a working jetway. Be sure your nose wheel is in the correct position. Use the keyboard commands correctly. And if you still can't get it to work, search our forums for answers and advice. This tutorial video was written, produced, and narrated by Bill Stack exclusively for Flyaway Simulation. Tell us about how helpful this tutorial was for you. Share it with other flight simmers who might benefit from this information as much as you did.